That's right. What's up? Oh, All right. One play. What is going on, everybody? <laughs> How are y'all doing? Y'all don't understand how hyped I am for this video. We have possibly the best PS5 news ever. And I'm gonna get right to it. I gotta build it up. You're wondering why is he showing an old NES Final Fantasy game? Wait for it, bro. Just wait for it. Before we get started, give the video a thumbs up. All right, I've been reporting on an all new, all new exclusive PS5 Final Fantasy game announced at E3 this year. This is besides Final Fantasy 16, exclusive to the PS5. This is besides Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 7 Integrate exclusive to the PS5 console. That's a console exclusive. Bro, more information is coming out about this Final Fantasy game coming to the PS5. I told y'all yesterday, it's going to be in the... Um, in the style of a Demon Souls type game, a Souls type game. I had a ad play in, <laughs> on the video. But now it's being reported the name of the game is Final Fantasy Origin. And it's going to be set in the story arc or timeline of the very first Final Fantasy game on the NES. Bro, for those, I know all of this. They're at the place where you, Silver Gear is the best gear in the game. Bro, this is my favorite game of all time. It's the original Final Fantasy on the NES. Do you understand how hyped I am right now? To give y'all a backstory. When I was a kid, I forget what birthday it was, like my 11th or 10th birthday. My dad bought me this game for my birthday on the NES. And at first, I like, never heard of Final Fantasy. Well, he get me Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or some crazy shooting game. He gave me this RPG game. And at first, I didn't get it. I walked out, imps, a, a random battle occurred. <coughs> A selected fight. I was like, why do I have to select fight? Why can't I just fight? And I got my butt kicked. <coughs> so, I'm like, okay. There's a little town icon. I went into the town. Bought some gear. Went back out. And I'm like, alright, Imps, let's go. I got some nunchucks. I got me a sword this time. I bought a fire spell for my black mage. Some healing for my white mage. Let's go. That second battle, bro. Boom. It all clicked. And ever since then, I was hooked on this game. I had my dad order me the, the um, strategy guide from Nintendo Power. Bro, I studied that guide, bro. To this day, I know the ogres are 100 hit points to defeat the ogres. The green ogres are 120 hit points to defeat the ogres. I know this game. And now... It's getting a, I've always, bro, when the remakes came out for the iPhone, I was happy, but at the same time, a little disappointed because it was severely nerfed, bro. You had to grind in this game and you had to earn it. Um, they nerfed the iPhone version of this game, but I still played it. I still enjoyed it because of the nostalgia. Bro, I've always wanted this game in 3D with updated next gen 
It's as if Sony is reading my mind and announcing exactly what I want. Bro, you know how long I've been asking for a 3D third person Metroid game? And then they announced Returnal? Sony is giving me just, I mean, it's so precise to what I want as a gamer. And so, the new Final Fantasy game I'm, will be set in the story arc of the original Final Fantasy game, but with in a Souls type action, more action oriented. Just imagine that with upgraded next gen visuals. Bro, it's gonna be amazing, bro. That is my most anticipated game. Most anticipated than that than anything. Any <laughs> hey, Ratchet and Clank. I'm hyped for Ratchet and Clank. Keena Bridge of Spirits. Hype for Keena Bridge of Spirits. But now that they announced that it's gonna be in the original story arc of the original Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy Origins, that is now. This is now my most anticipated game bro please let this game come out this year i doubt it since we have well e3 is when we get surprised will they announce a game boom holiday 2021 that's when we get surprises so bro if this game comes out this year man i'm gonna be so hyped <sighs> all right we do have more news we do have more news but that was lit that was bro i'm so hyped for that all right next news item the PlayStation Plus free games for June have been leaked ahead of time. And this is coming from the same source that leaked correctly the May PlayStation Plus games. This source even leaked that the dual the dual sense colors that we got announced. And so this is legit, 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 um, a legit, legit source. Ariel Huguenos is the website and they leaked all this stuff correctly before so you can pretty much This is what it's going to be. It looks like it very much seems like it And there's gonna be two PlayStation 4 games and a PlayStation 5 game. Y'all see what's showing right here Virtua Fighter Final Showdown will be one of the games a PS4 game Coming to free for PlayStation Plus subscribers and I have to tell you this this is the first 3D fighting game I ever played. Virtual Fighter had this on my 32X, played it in the arcades. I will be downloading it just to try it out. You know what I'm saying? Virtual Fighter is lit. This is what started the whole 3D fighting wave, bro. Go know, know your gaming history. Um, Virtual Fighter. Um, what else? Star Wars Squadrons game. This is a relatively new game. Star Wars Squadrons will be free on PlayStation 4. And for PlayStation 5, it will be Operation Tango. Operation Tango uh, is a two-player co-op spy game, uh, which players can only communicate via voice chat as they carry out their mission. So those look look to be the PlayStation Plus games for June. Always a solid lineup of games, man. Star Wars Squadron and Virtual Fighter. I'll tell you, man, all this talk about Game Pass, and they're comparing Game Pass to PlayStation Now. And with this PlayStation Plus is slow and quietly outclassing a game pass in, in many ways. There's some bangers on PlayStation um, Plus, bro. Final Fantasy VII Remake, free on PlayStation Plus. A lot, a lot of heavyweight games been getting released on PlayStation Plus. Don't sleep on PlayStation Plus. So dope, dope, dope lineup of games. Next news item, bro. The review scores for Biomutant have come out and it's not looking too good for this game. Right now, Biomutant is standing at a 62 on Metacritic for the PlayStation 4. I always went, was going to pass on this game. I wasn't never going to get this game anyway because I'm doing my Platinum Run for Returnal on my gaming channel trying to Platinum that game. Um, so, Biomutant, as of right now, stands at a 62. Ouch, bro. All right, a couple of quick more news items before we end out this video. This next one is pretty dope. Netflix. The big rumor is Netflix is about to hop into 
the game streaming service. They always talk about Game Pass as a Netflix of gaming. Well, Netflix wants to be the Netflix of gaming. So, um, Game Pass looks like it's going to have some stiff competition. Netflix, Netflix. Um, and they're saying as soon as 2022, as soon as next year, we could see game streaming. They're going to automatically have millions of subscribers, especially if they don't hike up the price. Imagine if they add gaming and it's the same price as your current Netflix service. Woo! It's going to be stiff competition. And before I head out, I got to give y'all some good news. If you're still looking for a PS5, restock is supposed to be coming all of this week. May 24th to May 30th at Target, Walmart, GameStop, and the PlayStation Direct Store directly from Sony. More PS5 consoles expected to drop this week, so stay on the lookout if you're trying to get that 5. The hottest console on the market right now. I'm just keeping it a book. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about um, everything we talked about in this video? Oh, my kids want to come in. All right sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out peace and make sure you subscribe to my channel sam ob1 plays that's his channel yes he plays splatoon